Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I am going to be showing you how to color grade your images and get amazing skin tones in Capture One. Now, recently, I've been talking to a few people on Clubhouse. If you're on Clubhouse and you're watching this, then you can definitely follow me and join our rooms where we talk about everything photography from retouching to camera gear and um, probably even the business of photography. But yes, yeah, so I've been talking to a few people on Clubhouse recently and I kind of like noticed that a lot of people that are transitioning from Lightroom to Capture One find it difficult to color grade in Capture One. So I just want to do a quick tutorial to show you how to get really pro looking images in Capture One. Um, it's simple, it's easy. Um, all you have to do is just follow the steps that I'll show you. So this is our image. Let me show you our before. This right here is our before and this is our after, you know, after color grading the the image so what i'm going to do right now is just reset this image and it might not be the exact same um, um color grade because obviously i'm just doing this from the top of my head and trying to show you um a few tips and tricks to get your images to look like that but you know if you learn the steps and you you know you learn how these um i would say these tools work then you'd be able to retouch or sorry then you'll be able to color grade any image in Capture One and, and get it to look the exact way you want it to look, right? Okay, great. So this right here is the after. Um, this is our before and this after retouching. Now, what I'm going to do right now is undo and show you guys what this looks like. So this right here is our color graded image. This is our straight out of the camera color graded image in Capture One. And this after so if you are you know eager to learn how to retouch you want to take your retouching to a whole new level then definitely check out my retouching masterclass I'll put a link in the description below it's a course that is going to take you through retouching three professionally short images and you know just help you take your retouch into a whole new level you're going to practice from scratch from frequency separation all the way to micro dodge and burn and how to color grade your images in Photoshop um, just definitely check that course out also if you want to color grade in photoshop then i have some amazing skin tone lots that you guys can check out i'll put a link to those two in my description and also my retouching essentials pack that has 14 amazing actions that help you retouch better and retouch faster links are in the description definitely check those out if you want to take your retouch into a whole new level okay great now let's get straight into retouching this image so i'm just going to reset this and what we're going to go to is our exposure panel right here now in our exposure panel there are a few things that you know um you can do here it's almost like lightroom if you're coming from lightroom you have your exposure right here so you can either you know use your exposure increase it you have your contrast you have your brightness you have your saturation now these are tabs that or these are sliders that i almost never use because I tried to get my exposure to look as perfect as possible in camera. So I never use those. But if you have to, then you guys know exactly how they work. You know, your exposure slider, your contrast, add some more contrast to your image. You have your brightness slider to make your image brighter. And you have your saturation to add more saturation to your image. Very simple and straightforward, right? Great. Now let's come down to our highlights tab. Now, before I start working down here on the highlights tab, what I always do is come here and turn on my exposure warning. Now, if you don't have your exposure warning on, all you have to do is probably just right click up here and go to customize bar. And you can always just drag and drop, you know, your um, tools that you need to use in your toolbar here. So that's that. Once I turn on my exposure warning, right? If I take my highlights up all the way and probably you know, take my shadows up all the way, you guys can see these red dots that are here. You know, maybe I'm just going to go to my exposure. You guys can see this right here. This is my, um, this is Capture One telling me that these places right here are blown out, you know. Um, if I go all the way up, you can see Capture One is telling me these places right here are blown out. So if I turn off my exposure warning, you can see how blown out they are. But sometimes you think they are blown out and your exposure warning does not come on. And your exposure warning is just telling you that, you know, that's fine. That place is not blown out yet. So the first thing I always do right here in Capture One is just dragging my whites for my levels, right? 
and maybe just add some contrast by dragging in my blacks so maybe just take this to two so this is how i typically add contrast to my image instead of using the instead of using the contrast slider right here this is exactly how i add some contrast to my image so somewhere around here is fine i might come back later to adjust this but this is totally fine another thing i always do is come down here to my luma curve so my luma curve i am not really affecting my colors just the tonal range of my image so you know just add a, a slight s curve to to my image great so you guys can see right now it still seems like the image is dark but that's totally fine we are just at our starting point right now so the next thing i want to do is come to my highlights right here as you guys can see we have this part of our outfit blown out and that's totally fine but you know i'm just going to drag my highlights down and that's what it does you can take it up you can drag it down but i always always leave my um exposure warning on for the most part next thing i want to do is just increase my shadows a little bit just a tiny bit as you guys can see the top part of this image is um a little bit dark so i just want to do that for my shadows to bring that up a little bit so if i take that out you guys can see what it looks like now if i take it back up you guys can see that it's looking really really good i might also pull my whites down just to make sure that my whites are not blown out so what i'm doing right now right here is just adjusting my exposure at this point i am not color grading the image to color grade your image you need your exposure to look perfect and then you can color grade your image so what we're doing right here right now is still just adjusting the exposure of my image at this point my image looks nice you know properly exposed it's totally fine if i have these hot spots right here I, I really don't care if some tiny parts of the image are ever exposed you know um it's totally fine for me as long as the image looks great you know your images do not have to look perfect you know um to everybody can just look perfect to you so this this looks perfect to me right now okay great so the next thing i want to do is move over to my color tab right here so right here you have everything from your you know color editor you have your color balance and these are the two tabs that we're going to be working on our color editor and our color balance so the first thing i want to do is change the color of the background that's the first thing that i want to do now i love how this looks but this was not the color i was going for and this this is just color grading 101 you know you 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 just mess around with colors till you find something that you're looking for right so i was looking for more of a teal color while i was shooting this but because i was in a hurry that day, i just decided to go with anything um so this blue just worked because i knew i was going to be able to fix in post now with your color editor all you have to do is come here down here click on your color picker tool and then once you click here what capture one is going to do is capture one is going to create a new color tab for you can you guys see that right here so this is your color tab so it's almost like creating color layers for you where you can toggle on and toggle off different layers right so for example if i want to change the color of this red right if i click this instead of capture one opening it on the same tab up here what it's going to do for me is that it's going to create a new tab or a new layer down here with those colors and i can adjust them separately that's the beautiful thing about you know adjusting colors in capture one right so we don't need the second one and we're just going to work with the first one so with the first one what i want to do is just mess around with the hue saturation and get it to um a place that i like so maybe somewhere around here if you guys can see if i go forward get i'm probably adding some greens into the, the blues by you know dragging the hue saturation down and then i can mess around with um the saturation too i can desaturate it or i can make it more saturated but what's happening is that it's just messing um with those colors that are at the back so what i'm going to do is just desaturate this a little bit and then i can make it darker or i can make it lighter but what i need is for this to just be a tad bit darker okay great so now we are getting into our color gradient remember at first what we we're doing was just working on our exposure to make sure our image was properly exposed you know we worked on our shadows our highlights to make sure that our subject is standing out and our subject looks good 
you probably do not need to do that for every image but you know it's always good to get that you know out of the way before you start color grading okay great now the next thing i want to do is work on skin tones and this is the beautiful thing about capture one the fact that you can work on things independently and individually is, is amazing right so all i have to do is click my color picker tool again and pick a part of my subject skin tone that i like right so maybe somewhere like here great and now what i can do is adjust the hue of my subject skin tone right now this tutorial is not going to be um an advanced uh, um uh, color grading tutorial because there are a lot of things that you can do when it comes to color and capture one but what we're going to do is just keep it basic for people that are coming in and people that are learning so you know you know the the steps and if you decide to you know go advanced then you can do that right okay great so what we're going to do right now is just take our hue forward a little bit and what we're doing by doing that is that we are making sure that we're adding some type of uh, i would say gold fill to our image you know um if we take our hue backwards we're going to be adding magenta and if we take our hue forward just a little bit we're going to be adding some nice greens to our image and if you add that to your skin tones then you know your image looks really really nice right then i'm going to add some saturation because you know i just feel like it looks flat so i'm just going to add some saturation to make our model pop our model skin tone pop right and then for lightness i'm just going to leave it the way it is but you know you can either make it darker so you guys can see or you can make it lighter but i'm just going to double click and take that back to zero then uniformity is how even you want the whole skin you know to look so for uniformity i'm just going to drag that up and as you guys can see the the whole skin you know if if it's at zero you can see that her um, contour here stands out right if it's at 100 you can see that the contour kind of blends with the whole reds and oranges in the image right and we don't want it to blend out too much so we're just probably going to use it somewhere i'm going to use something uh, maybe the value of 30 to 40 and this is what our image looks like right now so what i'm going to do is hold option i'll show you guys a before and after real quick so if you hold option and you click your before and after before after before after before after before after so you guys can see we're getting skin tones to look really nice at this point so it has this orange teal look which you know i absolutely love when it comes to you know image images um my studio images right especially if i show it against the canvas backdrop okay great so now what we want to do is work on our highlights our shadows and our mid tones with our color wheel so now what we're going to do is tone our image using our highlights, mid-tones and shadows, right? For our um, three-way um, color corrector, because that's what this is called normally. Well, you know, right here in Capture One is called your color balance. So the first thing I want to do is just take down my highlights a little bit. Now you can decide to go up with your highlights and see the effect it gives you. But typically for me, I'll just bring my highlights down a bit. Then, you know, bring my mid-tones down a bit and then go to my shadows and just pull my shadows just just to, just pull it down a tad bit right and um let me just show you guys what this looks like right now so this right now is uh before and this is our after just add some you know nice tonal range to our image right okay great now the next thing i want to do is go to my highlights and it depends on what color i'm trying to put in my highlights if i want to add some warmth to my highlights all i have to do is just drag this circle right here in the middle if you double click it goes back to the middle all i have to do is just drag it up to um get my highlights looking warm right but that's not what I'm, that's not the look i'm going for so i'm going to pull my highlights back a little bit add some um teal to my highlights and then for my mid-tones what i'm going to do is probably just add some warmth to my mid-tones just somewhere around here right Okay, great and then for my shadows what I'm going to do is add some warmth to my shadows too okay great so now let's see what our image looks like before and let's see what it looks like after looks great 
so typically at this point you know i'm done color grading my image you know i've, I've taken it from where it is here before again and look at after so what i can do right now is look at where my highlights are starting from so i can just drag this in right now and get my highlights to just pop a little more so if i turn on my exposure warning right now you guys can see everything looks properly properly exposed now to add some um sharpness or clarity to my image i might just add a little clarity and a little structure to my image and that's about it this is how you color grade to get a look like this in capture one very simple very easy um the all you have to do is get your exposure right you know so just work with your exposure tab and then go to your color tab and work with your color editor and your color balance which is your three-way color corrector you know that's about it very simple very easy you can mess around with this you can you know make your highlights pop even more if you want but typically i like my images to look like this because after this i'm going to take you into photoshop and get it to look like this and like i said if you want to learn how to retouch amazing amazing pictures you want to take your retouch into a whole new level check out my retouching masterclass the link is in the description below just go to the retouchermasterclass.com and if you want my skin tone lots to get your skin tones to look amazing in photoshop and also you want to get my retouching essentials pack to help you retouch better and retouch faster i'll put a link to all those in the description below and i have some freebies right there in my digital store too that you can check out thanks so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe please 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 subscribe and um comment below let me know if this helped you in any way thanks so much and i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day peace out guys